Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Um, this video is about DVD, mini DVD RAM discs, R-A-M, random access memories. Anyway, I am redoing a job from, surprise, surprise, Legacy Box. They do not do these discs, okay? They, they give you these BS stickers. They just say, we don't digitize this analog format, even though they're digital. Um, and then, hey, but let us know and we'll do another one free of charge. So you prepay, they don't do it. They don't give you a refund. But if you wanna send some more stuff in, they'll do it free. Okay, anyway, so this particular customer, like many, did not finalize their disc, threw away the original camera. Now, the, I've got endless, endless videos on these mini DVD discs. Now, this particular um, apparatus for mini DVDs, okay, these right here are RAM discs, okay? So RAM stands for Random Access Memory. So there's ROM, read only. RAM, you can edit, delete. Um, there's also DVD, uh, RW, so rewritables, but RAM, you could like edit them and all this kind of interactivity. It's all useless this day and age. Now they do have this kind of goldish um, with these little things. The good thing with these is they are a lot more scratch proof. If you have not kept your stuff in protective cases, um, my goodness, good luck. Um, so anyway, you have to put them, this particular, uh, I had to search because the customer did not finalize. They didn't know what they had. Camcorder wise, you have to put it in the original camcorder to finalize them for them to be readable. Um, and this is why these companies don't do this stuff. But this is a very, very rare format. Not mini DVD, but the ones with these protective cases on them. So there was a clue in there because one of them had this case on it. And I thought, aha, she said they've been playing in Hitachi, which is Panasonic as well. This is a Panasonic. Um, so the RAM discs, they finalize differently. Now, the good thing is, is that they're a lot more stable. All of these discs are extremely problematic. You can't play them. They're, they're just, people have thrown the cameras away. The RAM discs, um, so you'll see it right there. Jamfest 2004, that doesn't mean anything. Now you go to the menu on here. So you've got to get the original camcorder um, and then see, look, it doesn't have all the options. Okay. This is the trick disc navigation. So you can actually, if you hit that, you'll be able to see all of the thumbnails. There's 69 pages of thumbnails here and they'll just show up in a second. So you can then, you know, go through all of it and it's all baby stuff. It's all priceless, precious content. Um, you know, and this is what all these companies are telling customers to throw away because they can't, you know, oh, I won't play. This is a disc. This is a data recovery process. Okay. So what you have to do is once you've got the thumbnails up on the disc nav, you hit the menu button at the bottom, and then you're going to go down with this little joystick here, and you're going to go down to the disc icon. Okay. And then it's gonna say, oh, careful, do not format it. Format it will delete it, okay? So you gotta be so careful. And if you're hiring a company, all it takes is one numbskull to go down and hit, oh, oh, deleted it. And they go, sorry, your stuff is unrecoverable. No, one of their Muppet employees just, um, or Muppet owners of these companies, I hear and see it all. Um, okay, protect disc, okay? Right, protect disk, yes. Okay, setting. Now, this doesn't guarantee it's gonna work either because this stuff is, you must leave it on a stable surface. Do not touch it, finished. Take a deep breath. Okay, still not out of the woods. Okay, you eject it. Okay, um, and if my video freezes up here, it's the mix cam app. Um, it's crap but it freezes and that's what allows me to do picture in picture. All right, so I'm going to pop this in over here and show you. Okay, you've got to get the, hold on, a standby, standby. I'm opening this up very carefully to get the disc out. Okay, and the thing is with this disc, it's double-sided. So side A, side B, so you have to finalize both sides. That's if there's anything on the other side. There's all these variables. Okay, there's many different ways to rip these, to get these to go. I use CD Roller, Elgato. I use whatever the heck needs to be used to recover the data from these 
absolute pain in the ass um, discs. This is not going to tell me anything just yet. Look, read. Mind you, I could have put it on the wrong side. There could be data on one side or the other. RAM discs are really hard to determine whether there's any data on it visually. Regular um, dash R or dash or plus R or, or rewritable discs have a different shade. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Coming through loud and clear. Woo! Okay. So... Um, I'm going to capture that right now. Oh, fuck off. And it just quit. All right. So what that could be, and this is another tricky little thing that you've got to watch out for, is it will, it will, it will, it will go to the very last chapter. So every time you hit stop start on the camera, created a separate file. Okay, so what I'm assuming might have happened there is it went from the very last, um, it's, it's so weird. Okay, protection on, playback, copy of the functions. Let's do this. I hate DVDs. Look, here we go. As suspected, it started at number nine. Okay, and then number nine is the last one. So then it just ended. That's why it ended. So this is another numbskull thing. Some of these things have to be, you've really got to pay attention. Okay, so here we go. I'm, I'm using the remote right now. Um, so that's that. There's many different ways to capture this. Um, I'm just using Elgato right now. Other ways are using CD roller if they won't work. And then I go use iSkySoft to take the VOB files over to MP4. Then I've got to put them on a USB, upload them. If this sounds really complicated and absolute pain in the ass, it is. And that's why all these basic bullshit companies do not touch any of these discs because they're so bitty, so problematic. Even with really easy stuff, these idiots do drop the ball on everything. They're terrible. Um, you have to be hiring a business professional and a video transfer professional. There are not many of us out there that really take pride in the work and do an absolute bang on job. It's like bang on and on again in my channel. Um, so if you are looking for a company, you have to see on maps.google.com, not Google because it's fake reviews on the front page. There could be ads, sponsored ads. Okay, you've got to go to maps. And you've got to find somebody that is going to knock it out of the park. The thing is with these mini DVDs, I get people from all over the world sending me these discs because they're not only Muppets in America, there's Muppets all over the world as well. And when I say Muppets, that's what we call complete effing idiots, okay? Just donkeys. Uh, Muppets, what are some of the, uh, like, you know, Gordon Ramsay, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, if you're familiar with Kitchen Nightmares, you can understand what the word idiot means in England. So uh, I am basically like, I guess, the Gordon Ramsay of video transfers, what people do refer me to, uh, because all I'm doing is redoing work from other customers and um, redoing work that people have attempted to do themselves or undoing all of the gross, scratchy, dirty, whatever, misstored neglected memories that people have just pushed to the wayside and here we are 20 30 40 50 or more years later going hey here's my pile of crap make it look amazing and you're like yeah i'm gonna try <laughs> and then when you tell people what the real world cost is not all this fake pricing that you see nine dollars a tape blah 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 as you can see this woman probably spent three four hundred bucks and got nothing back then he's having to pay again. So yeah, these camcorders back in the day, those RAM, those specific things were about 1200 bucks back in the day, just for the camera, not let, let alone the discs. The RAM discs were expensive. Everything is just such a huge pain in the ass in 2024, and it's only gonna get worse, okay? It's a bottleneck. Look at all these cameras here that are all gummed up from people's gross, neglected, I'm going through, it's just constant. This is, first and foremost, this industry is an equipment maintenance 
business number one, okay? You gotta keep all your stuff clean. You gotta stay up to date on making sure all the video heads are clean, audio heads are clean, everything's operable. Checking the files, it's all real time. There's no fast way of doing this. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs did not make a zippity doo da video transfer all in one machine, okay? We are reliant on all this old stuff, okay? Cleaning, VCR repair guys, luckily I've got Tim next door strategically, but a lot of companies do not have anybody that can fix their equipment because they're all retired. They're all retired or died, <laughs> VCR repair people. When was the last time you saw a VCR repair company in your hometown? Very rare. Um, so anyway, all the best to you out there. If you do have these DVD round discs or mini DVDs or any of this stuff and you would like me to do it, gotmemories.com. But before you do that and before you fill out the quote form, and I don't mean to say this like sound like an asshole, but if you're looking for this kind of fake pricing crap, I am a data recovery, recovery specialist, okay? And this does not come cheap. I'm very reasonable. But I have people that are like, oh, what? They're charging? Yeah, no, no, no. They charge you for thin air. They're absolutely full of shit. And if anyone from the company is watching, which they do, customer number 987676. I have all of the customer's information. I have texts from your employees. I have emails from your employees, current and former, that have so much damning stories that is just, I can't even air because it's so bad. And obviously it's unsubstantiated, but I know that these people, these current and former employees reach out to me to tell me stuff and they're not making it up. Like why would they sit there and set, send like massive emails and texts? Cause they're like, oh my God, thank you for making this content and calling out this these scam artists that are doing this stuff and, and really ripping the hearts out of people, <laughs> giving them crap back or losing their stuff or mixing it up or giving them back other people's files. Anyway, I'm jacked up, I'm pissed off. It's a Friday <laughs> and I'm getting indigestion. So um, uh, all the best you're out there, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, cheers, bye.